Ich Majestäter, ich Kungliga Högheter, Exzellenser, kära pristagare, mina damer och herrar. Jag tackar för äran att ha tilldelats Nobelpriset i kemi tillsammans med professor Modric och professor Sanjar. The topic of my brief comments will be the crucial importance of our early mentors and teachers. I had the privilege of attending an excellent state school in Stockholm, Bromma Gymnasium. <laughs> right. Bromma is a green suburb of Stockholm, close to here. I visited yesterday morning. In this school, I was fortunate to have excellent teachers in chemistry, biology, mathematics, and literature. As an arrogant youngster, I took this for granted. Uh, but uh, during my uh, upper high school class, class uh, years, my family moved to central Stockholm. Uh, so it seemed uh, convenient to change school. This turned out to be a minor disaster. Uh, I did not like the teachers in the new school, and more to the point, the teachers did not like me. <laughs> in fact, one of them failed me in chemistry. This is an amusing anecdote today, but at the time, uh, this, was a ser this was serious business because I needed good marks to be able to enter the Karolinska Medical School in Stockholm at a later stage. Thanks to the concern and help of my parents, I was fortunately able to return to my previous school and, uh, and the excellent teachers there who supported me. In particular, I had inspiring help from an outstanding chemistry teacher. Her name was Karin Brandt. Mrs. Brandt encouraged my interest in chemistry and gave me a good mark. <laughs> Thanks to my improved standing in chemistry, I was then able to enter medical school. And this personal experience of mine shows how important good teachers can be. Uh, they should have our strong and enthusiastic support. I had a similar positive experience at the Karolinska Medical School. I realized at an early stage that I might not become a very good doctor, uh, but was fascinated by theoretical subjects, in particular medical chemistry and microbiology. As a result, I started as a graduate student with a legendary DNA chemist, Einar Hammarsten. He was the first scientist who showed in his early work that DNA is a very large molecule, a macromolecule, and he created an important Swedish school in the field. Personally, he was like a cat, with intense green eyes and totally temperamental and inspirational. With my teachers and colleagues at the Karolinska, I learned to think freely and critically, and I also learned the importance of basic science. Without outstanding teachers and new insights from basic science, progress in chemistry and biology would be much slower and might even come to a standstill. Thank you. <laughs>